a band? Were you? Yeah, the High Lonesome. Yeah, I was in a band called the High Lonesome for a long time, about twelve years. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I was in it before I started this show. So going back so, into the late eighties. So you were? Did, were you acting first? And then, yeah. So you yeah, were, you were kind of actually, doing both? Yeah, it was actually a band of unemployed actors. Beautiful. Yeah, we That's... all played music and decided to do something right. creative. That's and cool. When you're sitting around at home, instead of complaining and drinking yourself, you know. <laughs> right. Sounds like Brad You know, yeah. you can merge those worlds, so you're doing stuff, complaining and drinking. It's that's incredible. the dream. Yeah. Well, that's usually the life of a musician. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but you've left out the whole band part, so that's why right. you're getting along. So, what, I, lo- I love this about the band. So, what type of, what kind of music do you guys play? Rock and we roll? We were called, uh, somebody called it Rootsy Pop, but, but our records, our, our records were really in the Americana. Are these genre. around? Are these around somewhere? Yeah, actually, we got we got together some years ago and opened up our vaults. Uh, oh. The way it went, just you know, like Disney, but we different. were actors. We started playing. Mm-hmm. We started getting decent, and then we started playing some birthday parties, and then we got a residency as what at what is now uh, the Viper Room. It used oh, to wow. be a place called Filthy McNasty, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> and we started playing there every Tuesday night, opening wow. for a guy named Chuck E. Weiss. Yeah. Have you ever heard the Ricky Lee Jones song, Chucky's in Love? That's about Chucky Weiss. Wow. Chucky was great. Changed, yeah. his, changed his last name to Cheese, though, didn't he? He did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He got out of the music business yeah, he lo- all together. He loves kids. And now has kids. <laughs> lots and lots of kids around the world. Um, but then uh, we just attracted some attention, and we, uh, we got signed by an L.A. label. Dude, this is amazing. Yeah. yeah, so that was I by that time I was on this show. So we got signed around 95. Really? 94 or 95. They put us in a studio out in North Hollywood, uh which is gone now uh because of the subway. Oh wow. You like to lose a yeah. recording studio because they put a subway underneath you. In, <laughs> yeah, in Los kinda, Angeles. Kinda, that kind of kills your business. Yeah, a little yeah. Bit. yeah. A yeah. Bit. What's that rumble? You know? <laughs> um, uh, an earthquake? <laughs> yeah. And so anyway, we put out we put out an album called Feel Free to Do So on the Spark Records label and we were distributed by I forget who. Um, but uh, And that's when had, the music it, was still sold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, we had to get a CD for yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, people people would buy this, and you know, we could go to Tower Records and buy our wow. album. We even did a showcase up there so, at the old Tower. Anyway, we had two hits on the Billboard Hot 100. Oh, wow. dude! This and is... most added status for I think three other songs. So, and, and then you know, and then we we uh, once we were done, we decided we didn't like it anymore. We broke <laughs> up. <laughs> so wait, hold on, because there's. Uh, so you got he you got here then you got the deal. Yeah. So did this impede your road, your road mm-hmm. trip? Did you guys go on the road a lot? It did. We actually got a substitute drummer to go out uh. in my stead when I couldn't go. So you were the drummer. I was the drummer. Did you have a you sang as well or uh, mostly backup but a yeah. couple of lead songs? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And and when you guys went on the road, like how long would you be on the road? Well, because of my schedule, they yeah. might be able to go out for a few weeks at a time okay. at the most. Because gotcha. everybody actually, like I said, we were still actors. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know, and a lot of us were working. So, um, was there? You a, know, I could get away for maybe a long weekend. Yeah. Was there a particular much. gig or or venue that you were like, oh man, this is so cool? Yeah, there was one. Uh, the Super Bowl was played in Phoenix one year, and we what? actually got flown over by Bud Light. Oh yeah! Oh, wow. To play with the remember the Bud Light girls? It was these yeah. early oh, yeah. guys with the beards. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We did this gig basically with the Bud Light girls. That's you so know, fun. But we had this great turnout, and um, and actually though probably the biggest crowd we ever played for was the Fan Fest in Orlando. Oh, we for actually, Super Soap. We actually reformed for Super Soap. Oh, that's right. And wow. played okay. in front of about 10,000 people. Yeah, isn't yeah. that crazy? Yeah. It was crazy. How cool is that? Yeah, it cool. was great. It was yeah, great. And it almost cool. got us back together again. Yeah, yeah. you're like, well, oh, this, this is, feels this good with 10,000 10, people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, almost. Yeah. That's what we but talk it, you about. You know, you yeah. can get it on iTunes. The High Lonesome good. Collector's Album. It's on iTunes. Yeah, go get it, man. 